What's going on, everybody? It's uh, Jerry here again with another reaction with my boy Big O. And today we're gonna be doing Dune 1984. So, what you know about Dune, Big O? You know Nothing. anything? Oh uh, well, I do know. What we were talking about a little bit. Um, well, I do know the the uh, the spice melange. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. uh, that's uh, you know the spice in the planet that has it. Yeah. And that everybody's trying to control. I guess um, people use it to get high, right? They get high. They use it to space travel. Uh, yeah, I think that's I think that's pretty much it. The the, in the universe they use it for interstellar travel, and I think whoever it's kind of like oil, I guess, here on the planet. So whoever controls the oil, like as much of it, pretty much can control like economies and and can pretty much like lay down their own rules for for other countries to buy their shit. So I'm guessing that's like you become America. Yeah. <laughs> you become a spice tycoon basically spice tycoon. in in the dune world because if you if whoever rules that planet like they said rules the galaxy so whoever controls that spice controls like a lot of what's going in in that world basically right so i so that's what i know and then i what and i also know sorry man i'll go here i know there's a uh, four factions or four families i think like houses uh, four, four houses, houses. <clears throat> um, I really don't remember so like, that much. Uh, I can't remember the names. Like House Markkonen. Uh, how, well, the main one is House Atreides. Atreides. Then you got House Harkonnen, and I think those are the only ones I know that uh, of that I remember. The other ones I kind of don't remember. Yeah, I, don't, uh, I mean, I don't remember that. But that's all I know, man. That's as far as I know. So uh, that's all you need to know. I think it's going to get into the story. Uh, what's going on with, with uh, that planet, Arrakis. So I've seen the movie uh, a couple of years ago. I think I saw it because I forgot why I saw it. I, I don't even remember what like compelled me to watch this, this movie. I think I just heard a lot about it and how it, it, it was kind of um, bad. I heard it was bad and then I heard it was good. And then I watched it and I was kind of in between where I liked the story, but obviously like the visual effects are dated because they're from the 80s, like mid 80s. I thought it was like late 70s that this movie was made, but it came after Star Wars, which should have, I think it should have looked better, but it, it, it doesn't like, so don't get your like expectations for the visual effects like too high. I mean, I, I think it looks to me. I like it. I like that kind of visual effects where you could see what went behind it like you know it's kind of not all there but i could see what they were trying to do and some of the shots that they were trying to pull off were pretty like epic because yeah. this movie's like it's pretty it's, a, it's an epic story so they probably didn't have the same budget as star wars maybe. yeah they probably didn't have the same budget and and some of the story storytelling techniques like remember i told you how there's some scenes with like inner dialogue are kind of like weird because not a lot of movies do that i feel like a lot of like soap operas i've only seen soap operas do that uh, like the inner dialogue because especially <laughs> like uh like mexican fucking soap operas i know do a lot of that <laughs> so so when i saw it in this movie i hadn't really seen too much of it in other movies so this one kind of does that a lot but um it's cool, man. I like it. I, I like for what it, for what they were trying to do. So another thing is like the guy that made it, his name is David Lynch. I've seen his name before. I forgot what other movies he's done, but I heard that he didn't. He he was kind of like I've heard. So maybe people c can correct us in the comments. But he was like not happy with the final results that he ended up like n not wanting to take credit for the movie. Oh, wow. So something like that. Maybe they can clarify some in the comments. Well, but I think that's what I heard. Like he, he just didn't want his name attached to it anymore. It's one of those movies that people ask him about it, and I think he's just kind of embarrassed that he kind of like did it. I well, get. I think that's crazy. Someone clarify in the comments, man. Let us let us know if that's that's what happened, or maybe it was just a rumor, dude. It's kind of like he's rejecting his baby. He's well, like, it's nah. not his baby. I think they just hired him to direct it. Maybe he was. Um, he's like, nah, I didn't have nothing to do with this man. It's not my baby. Yeah. 
Um, so we're gonna get right into it, man. This is gonna be Dune 1984. Um, Bigo doesn't know too much about it other than the spice melange. <laughs> and I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm hyped for the new one, you know, like, oh, I'm trying well, to get it. Well, that's the reason we're watching this one because, yeah. you know, we saw the trailer to the new one and that one looks like super dope, man. It's directed by um, Denis Villeneuve, um, French Denis. director Denis Villeneuve. Uh, <laughs> who so that's why I'm hyped, dude. Like, I, like, I want to see, like, I, I didn't want to go into that one not knowing nothing, you know, like, but then that could have, that could have made me. I might have been better. Who knows, right? Because if you might see this one and then you might not like it and be like, ah, well, I kind of not, I'm not hyped up for the new one anymore. But I think what's, I think what's gonna happen is that you're gonna see the potential in the story, and then it's gonna get you hyped up for D- uh, Denis Villeneuve's uh, vision of it. Okay. I think because the, um, there's a lot of good stuff in the story, a lot of good visuals. I feel like that are gonna look dope in the remaking of it with today's new visual effects, new filmmaking techniques and all that. I think it's going to, it's going to be pretty dope. So who knows? We'll see. We'll see your yeah, take Dennis, on it. Dennis was very good. Sci-fi movies, man. Yeah. He, he, the Blade Runner was dope. Honestly, for me, it was a little slow paced, but I think it still was. He did Arrival too. Uh, oh yeah. Arrival. Um, Sicario. Crazy. So he's a he's a really good director. So we're gonna see Dune, the new Dune in this year, because we're filming uh, this in 2021 now. Uh, enough being said, we're just gonna get right into it. All right, Dune 1984. Spice Ooh, oh, so and then you know what? Rico de Laurentiis. Dino de Laurentiis. It's gotta be brothers. I like that sound the beginning effect. is a very delicate time. We get a proper introduction into the tune no world. Know that it is the year 10,191. God damn. In this time, the most precious substance in the universe is the spice melange. The spice melange. What do you think about that intro, Big O's? Well, I mean, was it supposed to be like a transmission? Because she nah, keeps I think... like, she faded out for a little bit, then she came back. Yeah, like, that was kind of, that was, that was a little I was weird. like, well, uh, there's another thing. So just kidding. I thought it was like is it supposed to be a transmission or something? Oh and I forgot to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sick little ship over there. Yeah. <laughs> like all this looks really sick, dude. It's probably all like like um matte paintings and like I don't know. Say what you want about Dune, man, but I'm pretty sure they put a lot of money into their uh costumes. Into the costumes and the sets and and a lot of dogs. But look at this. This is probably a map painting, dude. Look at this. This looks so sick, man. So this is the guild, right? They detected I don't like, know, dude. something that's going to stop in the production of oh, Spice Melange. So I'm, I'm thinking because of all the gold, this is the house that's controlling the spice right now. I, I, think, I think this dude's in, like the emperor or something. Right? Oh, dude! Jesus! That looks like a little, like a little baby fetus. So they put a hit on my boy Paul Atreides, dude. So you're saying also that they're making weapons out of sound? Some, something what like that. What the hell? The weaponizing sound. You know, you know like these weird. This is the guy that they want to kill. Yeah. <laughs> uh, can do it in his eyebrows, dude. Those sounds could be imitated. What's wrong I with this cat? With his yes. fucked up lip. He said, uh, remember the computer said he's a, a mentat has red stained lips. Music. Oh. So he's like a human computer no or something. <laughs> It's a very infamous scene right here, Big O. <laughs> this is rough, man. Dude. They look like the ones from Interstellar. Oh, the... uh, um. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. The robots from Interstellar. Yeah. That was that was a little rough. Put the weirding module on him, man. 
I think they could have done it without those eyebrows, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Look at these sets, man. They don't look too bad, dude. Looks kind of like, um, like alien. Right. What was that, dude? Was he laser tagging that thing? Laser tag. <laughs> Is he eating the spice? I think that's what he tasted. Or something. Look at him, he's tripping balls what now. What is he doing to me? <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah, he's tripping the fuck out. I'm just seeker. Why are they always whispering to each other? I don't know, man. Why can't they just have a normal talk? to be whispered. They've tried to take the <laughs> Sector 6, 8, a couple of the 6, the sun of the 8, the quadrant of the ninth plus 84 circles, we the 18, call the 4th, copy. What the hell? Well, that was like we a little murder weapon? Here, like a... Headquartered underground. Yeah, it was like a... Um, 6 through 10. Like a needle? Just stab somebody? Yeah, yeah, I was probably gonna kill him, the but airfield. they don't know... I... Uh, new well, they showed the guy that was controlling it, I guess. Every, yeah. Every those Arconians, man, they really don't like the the, Ar the Atreides. Oh, shit. A poison needle or something? Yeah. Yui. Damn, he got betrayed, dude. By the dock. When you see the Baron, you'll have a new poison gas tooth. <laughs> yeah. It was that easy to just take out his tooth. Damn, dude. Just chuck that guy. Oh, oh let's take a little music, too, man. Goodbye, Jesse. And goodbye to your sweet son. I want to spit once on your head. Just some spittle in your face. <laughs> the hell do these guys have like super suits? Here we go. Dude, we get more of the. Oh shit! Oh, Timmy no. got hit right okay. in the head, dude. I thought it was supposed to protect them. Yeah, but if it like it slows down so that it can go through the thing, then it'll. That shield only protects it from fast moving yeah. objects. Damn. How come he can't be thinking? Oh, fuck, I'm fucked. <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm fucked. Move, bitch. Oh, fuck. Not the dock. Excellent. There's no need to fight her from me. Is she my controller? Yeah, I think she's a... Uh, I'm telling you, man, she used to be part of the... Of, uh, the witches? Whatever those ladies are, I'm guessing they're witches. It's under control. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> He's like, I'm fucked. I'm so fucked. Are you still alive? Yeah, dude, he's got the false tooth. Come closer, Baron. <laughs> Stink breath. Got the wrong guy, though. Yeah. He... Am I alive? <laughs> hurry. Hurry. This crash might bring a worm. He who controls the spice controls the universe. Was his face peeling off, dude? Yeah. We have to get to that mountain of rock. Oh shit. Oh shit. Damn. Damn. That she ain't shit. 
Damn, I didn't know. I don't remember this. Damn, that looked like it hurt. Oh, shit. Lady, Stop calm it. down. Thumper. We're not alone. I will take the boy man. <coughs> he shall have sanctuary in my tribe. Get back! She has the weirding way. As the leader of my people, I give you my bond. Uh, teach us this weirding way. And you both shall have sanctuary. Your water shall mingle with our water. So these are the people native to Arrakis, right? Yeah. The Fremen or something like that. So they have a lot of caches of uh, water, apparently. Stashed everywhere in the... In Arrakis. Yeah. So uh, I think they want to... I think, I think once they have, like, a lot, they want to terraform Arrakis. What the heck? Jesus, dude, this guy just ripped the tongue. Raban, Raban, I place you in charge of Arrakis. It's yours to squeeze, as I promised. Get back! <laughs> I think these guys have the best part of the movie so far, dude. <laughs> Like a birth ritual or what? I think she's turning into a uh, the witch uh, or something. They're swapping her places or something in exchange for the 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 baby. That's literally my face when I sleep, <laughs> dude. It is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> and he's mine, Fade. What the hell oh, is going on right here, dude? They got this poor little. They got oh, this poor little no. cat. Dude, I don't. I swear, I don't think they'd be able to get away with this stuff nowadays, man. They'd be like, "Yeah, that's you got Peter on them with the animal cruelty." Yeah. A poison has been introduced into your body through Fahawa. By milking this this smooth little cat body, you receive your antidote. It and must be done each day. And a rat. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So his sister was born, and I guess died. No, no, she was born with all the, all the knowledge that uh, her mother consumed. Now her mother drank that water. No one ever yeah. dreamed there were so many. Basically, the old witch was passing on I her am knowledge. Usul. This obelisk is of your hardest stone. Kick it. <laughs> I am the one. I can do this. <laughs> <laughs> We will kill until no Harkonnen breathes Arakeen air. Yes. Mwadi. Hmm? Mwadi. Mwadi. dude. My name is a killing word. Wait, what? He's got to He's got to conquer a worm, dude. The legend? It's right in the worm, dude. Right in the worm. Here we go. When the 
spice law stops, all eyes will turn to Arrakis. The Baron and the Emperor himself will be forced to deal with us. In the two standard years Damn, that followed, Muad'Dib and the Fremen brought spice production to a standstill. They said you were dead! They said you. <laughs> You love to see it, Koppa. You love to see it. My boy Gurney. Emperor Shaddam the Fourth, you have one last chance to take matters into your own hands and bring the situation under control on Arrakis, or you will live out your life in a pain amplifier. This guy's eating his own mucus, dude. <laughs> He's so mad. <laughs> Here we go. He's drinking something. Oh, no, wait a minute. Are they getting kicked out of the clan because he drank the water or something? I think he's, he, I think, I think he's gonna drink the water of life. You are my life. So if he takes it and survives, then he's the one. So the worms are the what they're killing and shit to... I, I, I don't remember, man. Like, I think... Maybe the worms become spice when they die or something? They're not attacking. Why? Or maybe they produce the spice like they whatever they consume, maybe after <laughs> like their poo is like their the poo spice. Becomes spice. Maybe their poo. Father Father! The sleeper has awakened! Emperor! We come for you! And the emperor is rolling up in like this gold ass freaking spaceship, dude. He's balling. The sound is still going. Here we go. Whoa. They're calling up the worms, dude. Bring in that floating fat man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. The government ship. The girl to the left, that's the one that that's the, did the uh, intro, right? Yeah, it looks like her. Poor Emperor. I'm afraid my brother won't be very pleased with you. Kill this child, she's an abomination. Holy shit. Father, today I will avenge your death. Riding in on fucking... It's giant ass worms. Oh, giant ass worms. How are they gonna go up against worms, dude? Jesus. Yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> Some dude just blew up. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Hold his nipples? <laughs> yeah, dude. What the fuck? Oh. oh damn, I don't remember this. Oh <laughs> What was that? The girl was acting like crazy, dude. Alright, we surrender. <laughs> damn, look at in, in the millions. What the hell? Did you see his face? Try looking into that place where you dare not look. You'll find me there staring back at you. You mustn't speak! <laughs> <laughs> I remember your Gomjabar. Let's go. Yeah. I will kill him. Poison. I will bend like a reed in the wind. <laughs> oh man, yep. Got him. <laughs> Muad'Dib had become the hand of God, fulfilling the Fremen prophecy. And how can this be? For he is the Kwisatz Haderach. Man, that was uh, Dune 1984. What'd you think, Big O? I, 
I started off kind of slow. Yeah. Like, um, I would say maybe the first and maybe to the middle of the second act. Mm -hmm. Really, really slow. And then, but then. It picked up. You know, picked up. Yep. I'm gonna the be, second and third act, they were really good. I'm going to be honest, man. I actually really, I really enjoy this, this movie. I don't know why people hate on it. Or maybe, I don't know if people hate on it. I think that's what I just read online. But I personally, you know, I, I like it. I, I, I like it. I, I'm, I honestly didn't see the point to the internal dialogue. I don't know why they just couldn't say these things out loud. Yeah, I think it was like maybe a artistic choice that they they went maybe because a lot of that said, stuff could have been like maybe like you said it's in the books you know i think it was uh maybe an artistic choice because i've never read the book so i don't know if that's how it is in the book but a lot of books that you read a lot of characters have like internal thoughts and stuff so i think this was just like uh artistic they act them choice. out of that yeah or they or they put it like in a, an exposition scene where you need to ex you know give a lot of information they are they pepper it throughout but this one was like very much like i don't know i've never seen movies that that do that man where they have like you know, like like internal dialogue like that but damn dude i really like the universe man like the story like, like the like, mythology like yeah, the lore like the lore is really cool yeah um yeah that's that's dope that was dope i'm um, learning about the people that live there and and the, the spice, spice, spice my lounge, spice my lounge. But like, yeah, the, the whole lore, man, is really interesting. And the houses that that try to control it and stuff, and how they, yeah, you know, betray each other and stuff like that. <laughs> well, like I didn't realize it till now that I watched it again that the movie actually takes place a couple years from you know how when you get when they 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 they're gonna take out him and his mom out to the desert to die. And then them finding the Freeman, the Fremen, and then training, and then doing all that. That was like a couple of years, because then oh, his yeah, sister, cause sister yeah, was born, will. and she. Well, grew she was up. at least what nine? No, she must have been like maybe seven or so, six or seven. seven. She looked pretty little. Um, so it was a couple of years past of training, of just training and finding the the Fremen and training them and and doing all that until he uh, was able to get um, Dune back, Arrakis. But overall, like, like there's some shots that were really done done well, like the map painting shots, where mm -hmm. the ships are there, and then you see them like walking out. Like all those shots were like really, really well done. Like they look cool. And then there's some shots where it's just they look kind of like they needed a little bit more time to work on it. And I don't know the production, you know, how long it took them and how much money they were given. Um, and then that, that blue eye effect was dope. Like uh, Yeah, I, I thought pull, it was okay. To pull that off. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It was okay. Um, but I, I think even the new Dune, I think they're doing like the same thing. I, I would think it would look a little different, for, but it looks like they might. Well, it's kind of obviously going to look a lot better, man, because of technology yeah. advances. But I mean, this wasn't bad. Yeah, this wasn't bad. Uh, uh, I don't know, man. I, 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 liked it. I liked the movie. I know there's a lot of flaws with it. Uh, but and I don't know how faithful it is to the books, but I I enjoy this this movie every time I have seen it, and I only seen like maybe a couple times, but I enjoyed man. it too, man. The music I, was pretty cool. The action was was good. I uh, mean, the music score was dope. Um, like I said, there's some shots here and there that just need like if they had more time, I feel like they could have pulled it off. But there are also some shots, especially like I said, the map painting shots that look dope. And the story's there. I mean, they just had to adapt the book, so I don't know how how truthful it is to the books. But I like it. I like it too, man. Um, yeah, I, mean, I really enjoyed it. I mean, the first, like I said, the first is kind of slow. Yeah. But I mean, it just it picks up towards the end. Yeah. It gets really. I mean, the the Baron, the actor, man, is really good. Um, the Harkonnen, the main dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that goes. The whole the whole thing is because it's really good. Um. Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it, man. Um. I think it's only getting uh, us hype for the new one. Yeah, man, because there's really nothing I can pick that that uh, that I'm upset about. That was like really bad. That took you out of the movie. Yeah. Yeah, like, it was good. I mean, like 
like I said, the storytelling was was good. The, the only, well, like you said, the only thing was the inner dialogue. And I think it's because we don't we don't see it in films that often that it's 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 obvious. Yeah. But if yeah. more films did it, then it'd be it'd be you know less obvious. We'd be like, oh, it's just inner dialogue. But since we don't see it in movies that much, that's a lot of inner dialogue. You know, they're, they're constantly <laughs> like, oh my god, he's he's doing something, and it's constantly and it's and on top of it it's a whisper because uh if you you know a lot of inner dialogue that's done on tv was like soap operas they they're not whispering no. and then these this one they're like more like whispering yeah, that's just... it's like dude you're it, the the inner dialogue's in your head why are you whispering in your head <laughs> <laughs> right that's the but thing. it's a stylistic choice with um I, i'm guessing the director david lynch man because it said that he wrote the screenplay so that means that he he wanted to do this film, he wanted to uh, write it and he wanted to direct it. So I've heard that he doesn't really like to talk about this film. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know why. I mean, it's good. I liked it. I feel like there's a, a large. It has a large fan base that that likes it, but maybe not. Maybe uh, not. I don't know. Um, um, now the ending, like I'm trying to, I'm trying to like, like the ending kind of did me a little bit. Like, what's going on? started raining right so yeah does that mean like um i think there they, since they prophesized uh, that he that you know he would come and and uh i guess liberate the fremen even though they were kind of kind of free but i don't know <laughs> it just seemed like nobody really cared about them they were just everybody was just mining and doing their own thing yeah like they they, <laughs> like they, they were, were just really... there like they didn't <laughs> Unless, unless they didn't give us that information, because it, 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 when he said, "Oh, we're gonna take out your enemies, the Harkonnens," so I'm guessing when the Harkonnens were there, they were probably doing some, you know, like they were probably trying to get rid of all the natives. Yeah. So we don't. That's something I don't know. I just kind of heard them say something like that, but um, but I don't know. I, I think they just prophesized him coming, and when he came, that he that Doom would look different. Uh, oh. That maybe he's, they would start terraforming itself for some reason. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, dude. I mean, that's that's our um, that's our reaction to it. I mean, I liked it. I've always liked it. Um, I thought it was I'm good. surprised that you, you you didn't that you liked it not as much as you did because I don't know how to the extremes. But I thought you'd have more. Uh, like problems with it like oh yeah i don't like this i don't like that I don't like that uh, no nah, man I, I from for what it was at the time and like i'm like you said it was after star wars but um i really i, I mean what they did i really enjoyed it yeah what they did there it's yeah. cool and i think the new dune is going to be split in two so this movie i i think this story this... is going to be split in two for some reason because yeah. yeah. That's what I wanted to ask you. Like, do you, is a new one going to take place, like, after these no, it's, events? No, it's retelling this story. Oh, shoot. Yeah, okay. It's retelling this story. But I, I think it's going to be split into two parts. Because you know how, like, when he's building the, the Fremen army? And then Rabin, Raban or whatever that guy's name, he's coming after him. And and the Fremen and him are destroying the, 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 the spice. Um whatever those machines are that are mining the spice right and they're just like kind of like it was gorilla. like a montage yeah it was like a montage so i feel like maybe they might just expand on that in the in the new dune movies maybe i'm not sure but i i, I think i heard that it's gonna be two movies which is pretty cool i'm all for it um because i'm, I'm really excited to see what what denny's being who's gonna do with this man denny denny yeah. denny really new yeah man um, so so what's your uh, what's your overall or your overall score then out of 10 like 8 out of 10 8 out of 10 I would I think I would say the same thing 8 out of 10 um still enjoy it still a good movie it's a little long but I mean it's 8 I mean <laughs> I want to say 8 but we don't do it we don't do halves huh I would say 8.5 but I mean like you said we don't do halves so it's 8 it's an 8 uh, not it's a good. Nine. All um, right, man. So that's our reaction to Dune. Um, we liked it. Look forward to the new Dune and seeing 
you know what uh, the new director is going to do with it and uh, I'm sure it's going to look pretty dope Spice Blonde Spice Blonde <laughs> I hope he, he gets rid of some of that inner dialogue I don't think they're going to do that oh, I don't think they're going to do it but uh, maybe do a little bit of it not, nah, like, not think, the whole movie I don't think they're going to do it I think that was just <laughs> I would I, movies. I would do like maybe just a little bit but just to like all oh, people go oh damn he's doing a little inner dialogue people are going to be like oh god he's going to do inner dialogue <laughs> <laughs> no nah, I don't think he's going to do it I, I haven't seen any movies do inner dialogue ever really this is the only one i've ever seen do that but we'll see yeah. all right man so that's our reaction um hey buddy uh make sure you guys subscribe if you guys want to see some more reactions and um i don't know what movie we'll do next but uh if you have any recommendations let us know in the comments and uh we'll check them out all right peace <laughs>